Welcome everybody to the seasonal diet, eating what our ancestors ate, when they ate it, like we were evolved to do. The main argument against the paleo diet, or the hunter-gatherer diet, or the ancestral diet, or whatever you want to call it, or as a matter of fact, the only argument about any traditional human thing that people don't agree with, is that they say our early ancestors were primitive, and they were not healthy, and they did not live long, and they use this as a way to dismiss everything good that humans did before in history. And if you look at the uh, data just on face value, yeah, sure, that's true. Life expectancy in ancient times, all over from the Paleolithic Age all the way up until the Bronze Age, Middle Ages, life expectancy was anywhere from about the age of 20 to 23 in these ages. But these numbers are absolute shite. <laughs> <laughs> and they do not reflect the reality. Where those numbers come from, all it is is archaeologists who have dug up all the graves and look at how old the person was when they died. And then they add it all up and divide it, and they get the average. But guess what? Infant mortality was a much higher rate than it was today. And archaeologists are taking all of these babies that they found in the graves and died at birth, and they're putting that into their data too. Other example, deaths by accidents and predators and violence was a lot more common back in those days. Archaeologists count up the ones attacked by predators or ones that died in war young and they put that in their data too. Natural disasters and acute illness were a lot more common back then too. Young people maybe died in the winter uh, from uh, freezing or starvation or dehydration in the summer. They take all these things and put that in the data and they use that to determine the life expectancy, but that does not reflect the overall health of the population. The truth is that ancient humans, if they did actually, if they actually did manage to live past childbirth and their younger years and they didn't get killed in wars and things like that, it was completely normal for ancient humans to live into their 70s, 80s, 90s. We find many skeletons and also written records of humans living long, healthy lives like that. And when examining some of these oldest skeletons, guess what we find? No cancer, no cavities, no diabetes, no heart problems, none of these chronic illnesses that we have today. The only reason that the life expectancy of humans was way shorter back then is because they lived more dangerous lives. It's simple as that, and it does not reflect uh, that they had bad health.